Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com and here's a video on Windows Movie Maker Tips and Tricks and How To's Part 2. Okay, hopefully you already viewed Windows Movie Maker Tips and Tricks and How To's 2015 Part 1. But if you haven't, don't worry about it. You'll still learn a lot of good stuff from this video like how to save your project in Windows Movie Maker so that you can come back and re-edit your video. Let's go over to the file menu here and in some versions of Movie Maker it's a drop down arrow. I want to emphasize that if you decided that your video is finished um, being edited um, you need to save the project or save the project as. That way um, if you close out um, Movie Maker you can come back in and um, edit your video again and all the uh, changes will have been saved. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the other useful tools under the Home tab that you're going to be using. Especially for your title text, once you created your title and then you adjusted the duration of how long it's going to stay on your video, you can add special effects to your um, title text, which is pretty cool under Auto Movie Themes. There's a lot of them. I like them and uh, I definitely suggest checking them out. You can rotate and you can remove and uh, you can select all and uh, you can also um, under share you can upload it to the cloud or you can uh, share it on Facebook or upload it to YouTube but before you share it um, you do need to save it as a movie it's called rendering and it puts it in an mp4 format for you and I always su suggest to uh, take the recommended settings here and use that one right here okay um, next on our animations um, I earlier at the beginning of this uh, video split the uh, video into two different scenes and this is where you can put a transition between the two scenes and apply it and under visual effects you can uh, make the video do um, a lot of different things here and uh, they're pretty cool um, check them out um, you might find one that you like and absolutely go crazy with the special effects in Movie Maker and uh, adjust the brightness as well. Okay, next under the Project tab, you can emphasize your voice on the video or you can emphasize the video or you can emphasize the music on the video if you've added uh, music and uh, if you don't want to emphasize anything of course you can click uh, no um, emphasis at all and you can also this is really important adjust this to widescreen or standard 16.9 is high definition so I suggest leaving it at 16.9 okay let's go ahead and take a look at the view tab here and uh, I'll click on that now the view tab um, is only for viewing you can't really make any changes you can uh, zoom in you can zoom out um, you can reset the view and this is for the editing view on the right hand side here and down here this lever will adjust it um, if you don't use the view tab tools and um, you can adjust the thumbnail size as well um, earlier at the beginning of the video I did it down here if you can recall and I'll change it back to extra large um, thumbnail size all right and the last thing is waveforms you can um, view the waveforms right here underneath the uh, video clips if you like okay um, the last item here under video tools is edit and the first one is the video volume that you can adjust and then you can adjust the volume um, on scenes to fade in and fade out and then over here is my favorite tool um, within Movie Maker. I can uh, speed up or slow down the video 
and then over here I have my trim tools and uh, I can set the start point on my trim and I can um, set my end point on my trim as well. Now over here the last item is the video stabilization. Um, if you have a shaky hand when you're um, taking your video um, with your camera this can adjust it and stabilize it for you. Okay once you have finished editing your video and you've uh, finished everything that you want to do to it the next step would be to create a movie out of the video and what we want to do is render the video into a movie format and the way we go about doing that is come over here and click on save movie and then uh, you click on one of these options here but I always recommend uh, selecting the one that Windows Movie Maker um, recommends and this one's 1280 by 720 and uh, I suggest that you always save it as an MPEG-4 that's the high definition uh, video format um, if you don't you can always uh, choose to uh, save it as a Windows Media video if you like but the uh, clarity won't be as good and then uh, I'm gonna name it my movie one you name it whatever you like and I'm gonna click on save and that begins the rendering process and what that means is that it's creating your movie and converting the video into an MPEG-4 um, video movie format for you okay um, I'm not gonna sit here and uh, waste your time letting you watch the progress bar move across so I'm gonna say cancel because it is gonna take a while and I am gonna say uh, yes I do want to cancel this so I'll click on that alright um, that's um, how you go about creating your movie and using uh, Windows Movie Maker um, thanks for watching and I hope you got some useful information from my video tutorial subscribe and like my video